Hello and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, for today, um, I will go through our cross asset list. Uh, I will cover coffee, a WTI, a US 100, the USD versus Japanese yen, pound dollar, euro dollar, US 30, gold market, and dollar index. I will do so by using our FX Centrum platform. And we will begin uh, with the coffee market first. So, this is the daily time frame. Uh, what we can see here uh, is that we had a breakout of the multi day consolidation and the breakout below the lower Bollinger Band. Um, yesterday we had um, a rejection. Um, market um, tried to trade below and tried to test our first downside objective. Then it had some rejection, but um, we can see that there is a weak close in the middle of the day, so the middle of the previous day range. So there is a still chance for the lower prices. We can see that this rally on the fast stochastic line can just be a corrective, something similar that we had at this point. So there is a still chance for the lower prices on the coffee market and uh, our downside objective, uh, objectives are still valid at 175.80 and 165.50 mark. Uh, I will say only the market and the, only the coffee can trade above one uh, We'll say 194. Uh, then we can see maybe some upside continuation in the rally, but at this point, still the uh, sellers are in control, and this can just a corrective reaction on, on the coffee market. If we take a look at the, for example, 30 minute time frame, uh, we can see that market traded um, the 30 minute above the upper Bollinger Band, but then didn't hold and it closed pretty strong on a 30 minute time frame into the Bollinger Band. So this may be this also a strong sign of weakness coming into today's uh, market activity. So uh, WTI, this is something that uh, we keep a close look uh, because we had um, last week our trading idea um, um, upside and on the WTI and it's progressing pretty well. Still, the key resistance uh, is around 79 mark. But I can see here that uh, we had rejection of the middle Bollinger Band. We have series of the higher lows in the background. And uh, we are very close at 79 mark. In case of the, we'll say there is a, you can see the breakout of 79. There is a chance for the market to go short term even uh, towards the, for example, mm -hmm. Uh, 80 uh, towards the 8340 or maybe uh, go to 8970 mark so short term and the next uh, days or weeks even we might see the strong WTI so pay attention on the this uh, symbol to the further for the further upside moment if we take a look for example lower frames um lower time frame and the hourly this can be just a simple bull of flag we had some abc here and, and on the hourly time frame this can be something similar abc and then we'll see today if we can um, break that 79 mark and eventually if it's confirm bigger a bigger rally on the wt we have a us 100 and this is uh, still pretty Flat uh, around seventeen thousand, uh, about eighteen thousand mark, seventeen thousand nine uh, nine fifty. We had a couple of days in a row. We had a very um, narrow days, so, so we have a consolidation that is happening, and the upper Bollinger Band is uh, set at also around eighteen thousand one hundred mark, and this is also the key resistance. And from my perspective, only if we can break this level and hold above, so close above. Uh, there is a chance for higher prices towards 18,300, 18,500. Um, if we don't see that, and if we see, for example, break uh, a breakdown of the middle Bollinger Band, let's say 17,800 mark. So if we see something like imbalance to the downside, then there is a chance for the market to trade even to the lower Bollinger Band. 17,500 mark or even to the pin bar lows around 17,350 uh, 340 level so a stochastic oscillator you can see here is 
pretty fl you know it's flattening at this point the fast line is around the 80 mark so um but the slow line is around the 60 mark so far so we will see but watch for the breakout potential breakout of this tight consolidation may lead to next uh, bigger directional move on us 100. USD Japanese yen also, also we can see the very uh, big contraction so basically 10 days in a row this is a daily time frame and we have 10 days in a row of very tight consolidation between the uh, we have the resistance and around 150 80 mark and support around 149 70 mark so again the stochastic is pretty much in this overbought area slow line is Sloping to the downside, fast line is just um, going pretty flat. So the bigger, let's say the stronger breakout to 151, uh, mainly the USDN towards the next pivot point, which is set pretty much around upper Bollinger Band 151.57 and then 151.75. In case of the downside breakout of, of the support, um if the market can trade below 149.17 and then hold below then there is a chance for the lower bollinger band to be on the test 148.30 and the next important reference point is i will say around uh 146.30 in case the downside breakout so from my perspective we will need some kind of the catalyst uh either the interest rate decision or some big announcement um terms of the event so pound dollar we, we we can see here this morning that pound is trading lower so this upper Bollinger Band we didn't have a break of 1.2700 area and that was the key resistance so market is correcting at this point you see the rate of change is pulling back also fast line is correcting so this is more like from my perspective just sideways,ing and little Bollinger Band is trying to catch up the price so we have a support and middle Bollinger Band around 1.2, uh, I will say uh, 627. Uh, still, uh, I will pay attention uh, on the potential upside on the deeps. So if we can see the pullback and uh, some, we don't have a strong momentum on the downside, there is a still chance for the market to, in next uh, period, to to rally and try to rally even towards 1.2772. But so far, still bigger consolidation and key resistance at 1.2710. Euro dollar, uh, we, we see something similar. So this tail, this candle here. So we check here, we have this big tail um, and support area around 1.0800 mark, a middle Bollinger Band 1.0791. Um, slow line, obviously sloping upside and uh, the fast line is just uh, some corrections on the fast line so far this um, download this morning we still don't have any even correction on the stochastic so far so but to confirm a uh, bigger upside moment i would like to see the breakout to 1.0887 and then that can lead even euro higher towards 1.1 mark 1.1100 mark so so far just consolidation some light pullbacks um, but underlying support again is set at 1.0800 1.0795 now we have us30 so this is a very classic and this is a pattern which is um, very common so when we have the breakout this is the daily time frame when we have a breakout of the upper bollinger band the next day or a couple of days is usually can show us um, do, can we expect continuation of that breakout or potential reversion to the mean or for the market to go and trade towards the middle Bollinger Band. In this case, uh, the US30 had an upside breakout a couple of days ago, a breakout of this upper Bollinger Band. And then the very next day was a very narrow flat day, close in the middle. The very next day was a very narrow. And then we have another narrow day. So, and then downside movement. So there is a chance for the US 30 to correct at least toward the middle Bollinger Band, so 38,735. 
You can see here the fast line is correcting here. The slow line is still sloping upside, but um, we still have a space for at least this 38,737, if not fully this lower Bollinger Band and team bar low around 38,340 uh, mark. Checking lower time frame, so we can see here that a 30 minute time frame, you can see here, for example, the slow line and we uh, is sloping uh, to the downside with a fast line just corrected at this point so that's uh that's a pretty good sign for uh, at least uh one um another downside swing so let's so see here on the 30 minute how we switched so market reacted here only towards the middle bollinger band this is a very classic this is a sign that basically ser sellers are in control um and then the slow line turned down, uh, turned to the downside, and we can see that Mark is now trying to break this uh, pullback low and eventually break the lower Bollinger Band of the 30-minute time frame, which can be a good sign and a uh, signal for the further downside movement. Now, gold market, pretty flat environment. Uh, we still didn't test 2048, 2063. A slow line is loping. Uh, upside as you can see here fast line is correcting the last couple of days so if we can see some kind of the um, you know feeding a uh, buying and maybe break of 2040 or market you know with a strong reversal on the intraday there is a chance of course for market to test 2048 2063 which i still um, uh, can see like a potential scenario like most likely scenario um here we can go hourly frame is not yet ready at this point. You can also see 30 minute time frame. Market is uh, trying to testing this lower Bollinger Band. So still market seems like it's not ready to reject at this point. We have a middle Bollinger Band around uh, 2021 and lower uh, in bar lower 2015. So I will probably like to see here some rejection and the buyers to come in. Some signs on the intraday chart to confirm we have upside continuation on the daily time frame. So far, that's not the case. So patient, uh, patience will um, be very important in this in this um, environment. And dollar index, what we can see here is that market is trading near the middle Bollinger Band, but still is within this uh, day here when we had this pin bar. And that's the resistance around 104.09, uh, 104.10. The slow line and fast line are sloping to the downside and stochastic. So uh, there is still a chance for a downside breakout, but we need to see that uh, confirmation that the dollar index can trade below 103.20, and there is a chance for the market and dollar index to go lower towards 6 or even 101.65. So. Only, in, only if we can see like breakout of 10 uh, and then hold the ball and close the ball on the daily, then this may be um, a sign for the maybe retest of the upper Bollinger Band. But that's not the case at this point. So so far, uh, still chance for the for the dollar index to to go lower and eventually have a have build a break breakout to the downside and. That will be all for this um, uh, for to, for today for FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, of course, if you didn't check our website fxcentrum.com, uh, feel free to browse through the website. Um, you can find different kind of promotions, a hundred percent deposit bonus, a trading competition, um, and explore our FX CTV. Uh, we have this technical analysis part where we post every day the. We're going for our cross asset list and then different trading ideas, at least one trading idea swing term. Uh, from time to time, we'll put some intraday trading ideas. Um, we're preparing also, and we already have different kind of tutorials, and we're preparing different kind of educational uh, content. And very soon, we will introduce uh, uh, webinars. So, plenty of things uh, for this year, and guys, uh, stay tuned, and of course, uh, can always open account and in just a few clicks so 
go and explore and browse through the website so uh, you will become more familiar with um, Epic Centrum. That will be all for um, for this video. Um, share good trading and um, have a good um, have a good have a good trading day.